Hello and welcome. Have you ever had a bunch of springs lying around without knowing what kind of power they have? To find out what they are or should be rated at, we need a simple testing rig. First, let's examine how the gearbox works. Inside a gearbox, what's happening is that the gears drive the piston all the way back into the gearbox. This compresses the spring and when the gears let go, the spring pushes the piston forward. So if you can measure the amount of force that is required to compress the spring into the piston, then you have a way to accurately rate the spring power. First we need to determine how compressed the spring needs to be, so we measure the length of the piston. Almost all AEGs use the same size piston, so the compression length should be the same. But if you are testing a sniper or any kind of manual spring power gun, then you may need to measure the compression depth yourself. If you are not interested in how I found the values and just want to see how you can rate your own springs, click this box to skip the details. The rig that I use here is a bit more complicated than what you need to make. The test rig that I use is basically just a metal cylinder tube that I cut some holes in and a piece of nylon string, a nut and some weights. I have some springs that I have bought and therefore know the factory spring rating. For each of these springs, I measure the length of the spring under different loads and put the data into a chart. Before I have put on any weights, the length is 17 cm. First I put on 2 kilos of weight. Then 4 kilos, then 5 and so on and so on. I continue to put on weight until the spring is compressed to at least 7 cm. This M120 spring took 8 kilos to compress to 7 cm. I also measure the power of the springs in one of my airsoft guns. I will be using my stock Magpul PDRC because it has a quick spring change system. Load up some PVs and fire away into a chronograph. Now I just repeat this for all the different kinds of springs. Measure the spring.
load it into the gun and test fire. Now that I have all the data that I need, it's time to look at the data. In this chart, you can see the factory ratings for different springs and how much weight it took to compress the springs at different lengths. The first thing that I notice is that all my progressive springs seems to be pretty linear. This chart shows the curve for two springs. It's pretty clear that the compression of my progressive springs are almost linear, but it is possible to see a small difference along the curve. So progressive springs are not that different from regular linear springs. The next thing that I notice is that for each kilogram of extra weight it took to compress the spring to 7 centimeters, the factory adds 10 meters per second to the ratings. This is marked with the, the purple fields. When you take this data and examine it in relation to the gun chrono, you can see that my gun chrono also almost follow a straight line. My gun chrono is marked in blue, but the factory ratings marked in green follows another straight line. This means that my gun is not as efficient as the factory assumes it to be. So why is the springs rated above what my gun shoots? Actually, most of the factories just assume that I'm shooting an M4 that has been tuned close to perfection. So you really can't just go out and buy a spring rated at, for example, 120 meters per second and accept to shoot that in every gun. But with most M4s, you should get pretty close. If you want to take a closer look at the charts, go to airsofttech.dk where I will be posting the charts. Click this link to see how you can use my data charts to rate your unknown springs.